Hello my soccer universe, the year is approaching its end and it's time for my yearly top 10s and the first one of course are the top 10 jerseys that I got this year which uh, in a way is almost, I mean it's the easiest video to make but to prepare it's almost the hardest one but like last year where I think I got uh, above 50 jerseys a top 10 actually does make sense and yeah, uh, how many jerseys did I buy this year? Famous words from last year. I don't need another 50 jerseys. Yes, 76 at the moment and the 77th is arriving today. And probably I will release that one, the, the unpacking after this video. I don't know quite yet, but I made a decision. This probably will not crack the top 10. Last year I made a top 10 and five disappointments. Um, however, there were hardly any disappointments. There were just a few stories. Uh, you know, I only got one fake, which is uh, good. Um, which, yeah, um, I wanted to have that one. It was the Columbia home shirt. Um, I had one where I paid for from a seller and then uh, this never made it to me. Another Columbia, a Columbia away shirt. These are the two biggest disappointments. And then it is more about me missing out or sellers being uh, rather ridiculous like recently when I wanted to get a pink Juve away shirt uh, from 1516 and the seller was just uh, an idiot. Uh, first uh, not wanting to give it because it's reserved then uh, only offering it with another, an, another one and then the guy who reserved it for of course didn't buy it and then he offered it to me when I had already clinched something else. So. Those are the disappointments. Everything else is all he. In fact, this is the first year where not only did I get for the first time jerseys that were not bought by members of my family, it is also the first time that people gifted me jerseys, which to me is something that I've never even dared to dream of. In, 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 in a way, it's absolutely awesome. Now, uh, there are a few of these uh, of from these are in there, but this does not mean that I don't value them at all. Every single jersey that I got this year is, some, is special to me. For me, making this list is a rather painful it's rather painful in many many ways because how do you rank the jerseys and now the ranking that, that i made now i had i think i quickly picked i think around 22 jerseys so i went through all the ones that i got picked 22 then i went through it again a little bit more picky got eight chose ten, uh, two more and then i said okay let's give you also five more to uh, show you who missed out and yeah let's so this is kind of it was painful it was haphazard and with the top to the top 10 uh was then quickly decided in a way without much uh you know too much thought so see although i make it from 10 to 1 uh i wouldn't take this with uh, that much salt and, and again uh, the fact that I got in my collection jerseys that others picked out for me this is to me almost a, or is the best thing that happened this year uh, and I am happy about every single one of them because not only I, I, I have not gotten a single dot let's put it that way <laughs> okay to give you an idea of what missed out um, I have here six jerseys behind me that I got this year and we're talking about uh, this Udine jersey, this Bologna jersey, this Verona jersey, this Inter jersey, this Torino jersey uh, and this Atalanta jersey back there in the corner that missed out. The Juve jersey that I recently got just missed the cut. That's why I decided to wear it. This is the uh, was my Christmas present. Uh, and you can see already, uh, at least from the Inter, the Juve jersey, it's pretty hard. Uh, I show you quickly five others that didn't make the cut. You will not see this Napoli fourth jersey from last season, the Maradona uh, one. You will not see, and this is uh, one of uh, sorta of gift. It's almost there. Uh, this wonderful SMK shirt. I really, really like, like, like the one. Also, just missed the cut. You will not see. Also one that I agonized a little bit over. This Freiburg shirt. I absolutely love this one. It's a really great jersey. It missed the cut. Uh, then <laughs> another Austrian team that I never thought I will have. 
is this Salzburg jersey. Uh, my first Austrian jersey from a team other than Lusk. Uh, absolute banger. It missed the cut. And to give you a little bit of ridiculousness about uh about it also i want to make sure that the shirts are not falling down um this mali jersey a year ago this would have been in the top three no it missed the cut barely but it missed the cut so uh just to give you an idea so uh i went actually with um a few how did i cho end up choosing in those t uh final 10 jerseys that i am going to show you I went by it first, did it kind of surprise me, and was it much, uh, you know, did it exceed my expectations? Then, how long have I been looking for this shirt? Uh, so kind of the anticipation factor, I've been hunt hunt hunting it down, um, how long did it, did it take me to get it? And then, of course, lastly, um, in a way, how hard was it to get that shirt in addition to a certain, you know, collector's appeal. So those are the criteria that I went for it. And I think number 10 definitely goes into the category uh, exceeded expectations. This is Sporting Lisbon uh, home jersey from 08-09. I wanted a Sporting jersey. I found this one. It didn't cost me a lot. And when I got it, I just, it, it, it boggled my mind. Not only does it look really, really good, the green and the white, uh, in this case, hoops, uh, but I don't think it is a player version, but the dual layering, it is such a comfy wear shirt to wear. Uh, it's just a lot to like about this one. It's super hyperventilated in many ways. Uh, absolutely love this one. And I think for, I paid 30 and they came a scarf with it. This was a bank steal. So that's number 10. Number nine goes in the category. I have been hunting for this jersey for quite a while. And yeah, it has been uh, to, uh, 11 years in the making. It's this Egypt jersey. Yes, it might not be much of, of, of a look, but I always want to have the Pharaoh. And I know that Nike with their Nigeria home jersey and ever since the crazy designs exploding kind of ruined a little bit uh, simple jerseys, but, and the crest we can obviously discuss but this is a jersey I've been looking for for a long, long time. Yes, I let it go twice. But in the end, I was so happy to pick this up, this one up, uh, because this was always the one Egypt jersey that I wanted to have, and it looks absolutely awesome. So that is number nine. Going up on number eight, this was a little bit one, uh, hard to get in a way. <laughs> um, and mainly I needed definitely my wife for this one. Uh, this is the number eight. Levski home jersey, current Levski home jersey. Uh, in the packing video, I tell you the, the full story. Uh, we ordered this one through the official Levski store uh, while, while on vacation in Bulgaria. And then it was kind of said, yeah, this will be at the pickup station. Uh, so it, we couldn't pick, pick a store, they will not deliver, but there's a pickup station that, yeah, okay, on the way home from the beach, and we thought we'll pick it up. However, I never got any notification there. And then I thought, okay, that's gone. However, my wife, persisted and she picked it up it was not easy and i'm very happy to have this one there are so many nice things about it i actually really like this shirt the only thing i do slightly regret that i couldn't get it in double xl the xl while fitting it's a teeny bit tight but uh it's a wonderful shirt overall i absolutely love it and that's also the first uh um club jersey not from one of the eight leagues that I'm usually collecting from. Uh, no, nah, I have two Greece, so uh, it's not the first one, but you know, a first Bulgarian team in, in a way. I have two Greek teams as well, so uh, both of which I got there. Now, then we are at number seven. And here, this was at the beginning of the year. Uh, it probably could be a little bit higher or not. Um, it's the North Macedonia home jersey since 2006, uh, away jersey since 2016 which I got directly from the uh, Northern Macedonia Federation shop, where it was not that uh, cheap. And then with all the input fees, blah, 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 tag, tag on, I paid about as much as, as you pay for a regular shirt. But I got the printing for almost no um, cost. I chose Nestorovsky because it's the a Serie A player with a very, very long name. I don't think he made it in the, into the Euro, Euro squad, but uh, he at least has been wearing this in this configuration. Um, 
this was in so far hard to get because at first I only looked at it on them uh, in Macedonian, yeah, with my little Cyrillic knowledge uh, until I figured out they had to have an English character part as well. But hey, I've, I fought through it and my wife confirmed it <laughs> and I got it right. And then we ordered, but it was hard because I could only do a credit credit card. So I need to get a family member with a credit card. Uh, then she had to come here. Uh, it was complicated to get it and then we had to pay extra but I got it I want to have a North Macedonia shirt because I wanted a shirt for every Euro uh, team uh, every team at the Euros there you got it North Macedonia would have liked the home shirt maybe but I actually I, they wore this twice at the Euros so I'm actually quite happy that I got exactly that one because that's a little bit rarer in a way so that was number seven as far as my count goes. I need to be careful. Number six. This is now more one for the design. Uh, but I'm very happy that I got this one. This is number six. Is this not a commemorative jersey for the 20 years since the last one, the title, which was the eighth title, which is more or less an exact replica of the Le Coq Sportif version and to me this is the perfect perfect notion i mean the only other thing would would be the yellow uh green striped adidas one but i really really love this one and what i'm even more proud of is that i got the nautical crest that i think you can see that my non scarf up there which has the same crest because i bought it exactly in that year that they played originally with the lecoq sportif version now this was never worn in match However, I don't mind. This is an absolute gorgeous. I mean, just look at the crest. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, totally happy with that. That was one of my favorite jerseys, of course, that I picked up this year. Could not, could not be a miss. Okay, we are in the top five. How do you like the jerseys so far? Top five. This is one that came from an exchange. And that's the one that really blew me away. And I know the guy who gave it to me took a gamble with that one. And it totally paid off. It's the Betis fourth third from last season. Uh, not only is the design spectacular, another remake from a, a Diddy. And this Diddy is to my 90s classic. It was a 90s away shirt. I love the colors. Yes, it's not a classic Betis shirt. Uh, but fun, fun enough, because I have did, did, did this one, I have actually not even been looking into getting a proper Betis home shirt because I love this one so much. Uh, it is absolutely classic looking. And in addition, and that's the, uh, the one thing I totally did not ever expect to get this one. This is one I saw, okay, this one looks re really nice. Unfortunately, there will be no way that, that, that this will ever end up with me. And it, and it came through. This is such a gorgeous shirt. And what even what was the kicker? This is not a copper shirt. It's not tight fitting, but kind of this looser fit version, which is something that I want to try and I still want to order from Kappa. Uh The current Fiorentina shirts are somehow on sale, also a little bit looser fitting because the fit of this one is really, really, really nice. I have not worn it too often because it's constantly up there as a background. So maybe in an international break, it might come off. Absolute gorgeous shirt. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, number four, and there are, I think of the next four shirts, I could make an argument for everyone to be number one. Uh, this was just now uh, kind of picking in 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 the end that this one didn't rank higher is because uh, it is very similar to another shirt that it's in there, and I want to have a little bit of a variety in there. Number four is this Peru shirt for the world at this year's uh, Copa America. I got this directly from Peru. You cannot order it directly that it ships here. They only ship within Peru. So fortunately, I have family in Peru and they have friends in Peru who organized this shirt for me, sent it over. Unfortunately, I forgot to tick the box that this is a gift because that's what the should have done. It would have saved me another 18 euros. But other than that, I cannot complain. Marathon, it has, it's the rainbow colors down there it is such a gorgeous shirt as you can see from text i have not worn it yet it was my birthday present that that's how it ended up being and i assume from what it says in the invoice that this is a player issue because of all the ventilation i know that andy who gave me the betis shirt he has um a version of this this one as well where the 
parts here connect and it, it doesn't have this part here. So this may or may not be a player version. However, all I can say is it's original from Peru, from uh, an original store, from the original marathon store, their bot. So that much I, 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 I know it's authentic. It is really nice. And this rainbow effect is just to me uh, is the kicker. Uh, but yeah, I finally, uh, you know, a not weird Peru jer uh, jersey. Now I would really like to have an, a pure classic Peru jersey, but it's just red, white. And I know we had the chat with uh, Ricardo. Uh, so yeah, I have, to, I have to talk about him if he really wanted to send me that one because I wouldn't mind getting his as well. So yeah, number four, Peru. Peru is a family national team. Number three. This was the 200th jersey that I ever got. Now, if you, you might know it, no, 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 know it already. It's the Venezia home jersey from last season. Uh, features highly mainly because look at it. It is absolutely special. And to me, I like this one a whole lot better because it's all the club's colors on there, a whole lot better than the current one. Um, although the crest definitely could need some work. I bought this half price because at the Venezia store I saw it, you know, I had this on and in February I already saw, ah, they're selling this one off for half price. Okay, so waited around, way, 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 waited around and then, you know, I had this talk around Easter with my wife and then we made budgets, blah, blah, blah. Then I decided to uh, get this one in the knowledge this might be one of the two characters to make it to number 200. And then in the end I decided on this one to make it 200. Now, uh, the kick of why this one is really high up, high, 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 there are two more things. Um, the golden tag gives it away. This is a player issue version where um, this is all ventilated material, which the real version does, that doesn't have, but I got it with the patch. I got it with a name set. The amount of work I went to pick Feli Choli uh, is also something else because I picked him solely because he has a Milan pass. He played a match for Milan, uh, whereas all the other players that I was about to had some connection always to Inter. So yeah, no, not gonna choose that, that, that those. An absolute stunner. And of course, the I absolutely love the Venezia lettering here because it is so subtle in, in, in a way. It's an absolutely beautiful shirt. Worthy of number one, and it's only at number three at the moment. So what is number two, you might think? That's the other stunner, I have to say. This is, of course, this Ajax away shirt from last season, uh, which I got very early la la last season. I cannot tell you how much I love this shirt. And I actually think it looks even better if you took take it from a distance because there's like, this kind of 3D effect. It looks like dragon scales in, in, in a way. I love the mixture of, you know, not only blue, it's a really nice contrast in color for Ajax, I love that this kind of a reference back to the Netherlands 1988 look because it's very sim similar. The red crest, you have the red in there. But then I got it with Tadic. They sold this off at the Ajax to I think 460 or something, something, something like that. That was just in January. And I hope they do this year again for two days. And I saw it on Facebook. Uh, last time I was really happy with face, face, Facebook. I saw the ad from Ajax. From, from, from free printing and you get um and the, sh the shirt for 60 of course and then i you know i was Grafenberg, class and tadic i then went with tadic which actually paid off in the end for me as well although i thought maybe class would have been cooler but you know uh i think i, I don't regret it and i got it with the Eredivisie uh, patch and the Kurosawa sponsor as well, uh, which I had to pay for very, very little. Uh, but in the end, and then they couldn't get the Kurosawa sponsor. Also sponsor. They asked me, Shall, uh, do you want to wait? Wait, wait for two, how have the meal? I said, I'm going to wait for it. And then two days later, they shipped it. Love this jersey. This is of the new ones that I bought. It's the one right after the that I've worn most. Which is not something I can say about number one because I have not worn it yet, uh, really, because I just got it. Uh, maybe design-wise, not the most spectacular one, but this one I have been waiting for for almost 20 years. Milan, or two or three away. The one that they won the Champions League again, you just saw me opening up the parcel containing this one. And it's very simple. 
I wanted to get that one in 2003. I couldn't get it anymore. I didn't see it for a long time. And if I got, saw it, it was very, very expensive. And now I have it in my possession. This is one of those Milan shirts that I cherish, although initially I didn't like it. I cherished it because, you know, when I became a Milan fan, Milan was high. Then they had a little plunge. They won a Serie A championship, which should be but they were rubbish in Europe. And then there was exactly 2002 to 2003, where it all started click clicking, and this was the start of the, since I'm a fan, the second greatest period of uh, AC Milan. Not as great as the first one in the late 80s and early 90s, but very, very satisfying with two Champions League wins, and I one could argue there should have been three. Uh, but there should have been also more Serie, Serie A titles. But yeah, I absolutely love this shirt, and I am so, I cannot tell you how happy I am. That I have this one where they beat these guys, and uh, it's again that I could get these together at Christmas. The, I, I still say it's a perfect pair. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, you know, maybe down the road, maybe for next year, get a few Champions League pa a Champions League patch from that season or something like, like like that to spruce it up a little bit. I'm not sure if if I will be able to get the official Champions League printing because I think that one was stitched. That all would be nice, but yeah. It is my favorite jersey that I got this year. Just gotta say it. Okay, these were my top 10 jerseys that, that I got here. I would like to know, at least if it's not your favorite, uh, what are your best jerseys that you got this year? Uh, I'm gonna follow this up with the top 10 jerseys that were released this year, uh, which I still have to work on. Uh, also the top 10 moments. And then in the new year, you'll get, yeah, kind of my shopping list for next year. And let's see how I'm doing, have been doing on that one. That would have been also nice. I should have looked at the shopping list that I got this year and how I've been doing. I've been doing a little review, but maybe I uh, will do that when I have the other one, when I make the one for the new year. In any case, please, 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 please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.